like this. Got word from Hamish that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some sort of nasty plan going on. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meeting's at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't mind a drink while we plan out to give Nigel bloody Cass a black eye. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked, but, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already scrubbed the area for evidence. This is supposed to be a crime scene. Why scrub it clean so quickly? Something's wrong here. Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. You do come in handy, Bagley. There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Copy that. That should do it. Go back to the location of the incident to view the reconstruct. This does look like pro-terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. Interesting. I'll take a look around. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. That means... That means this wasn't some orchestrated power play. Someone actually tried to kill Cass. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes.
I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Check the plates while you're at it. Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cass did something to seriously piss this guy off. If there's a civil war in the Albion ranks, that's good news for us. I say we get a closer look at that truck. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. The Tone site? Why would they do that? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Agreed. I'm at the Tone site. Now, are you sure the Finsbury truck was delivered here? That's right, but what we don't know is why they brought it here. I'll take a look around. Take this down. The tone bombing presents us with an excellent opportunity. Once we've taken full possession of the site, it gives us a good vantage point on the Thames and provides us with a cover of activity to mask some of our own higher risk activities. This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. 
The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Oh, Jesus. He's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck. I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. But even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. Know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look for the driver's body. Moving in. Whoever this is, they died long ago. No way this is the attacker. Yes, from the state of decay, I'd say this person died, oh, right around the tone bombing. So that's one mystery solved. This might be him. Severely burned. Looks recent, too. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin that might once have been an optic. But you can handle that amount of damage, right? I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. Using a recent bombing site to hide corpses. Disturbing, but clever. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it.
I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? You're clear to go, Bagley. He's launched them, Mum. They're waiting up there, and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse, he called them Justice, Themis, drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead. But he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that'll activate a systemic reboot, and... You always hated it when I used my big-up words. I... I can't let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. Mom, I'm about to do something. Something awful. Or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me. Less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by... by... killing someone, wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible? I'm sorry. I love you. Well, shit. All those Themis drones above us are just a single system update away from murder. Might take months, but Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bugs boy, the Themis data we wiped at Titus. Any chance you remember enough to retro-engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. Are you serious, Bagley? Why the fuck would you keep the project data? I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn. So, how do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's get this done. <laughs> <laughs> 